Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video and in this video we're taking a look at the specific pairing of these headphones with the iFi Zencan Signature DAC and Amp. These are the Drop Sennheiser HD6XX headphones and uh, they're basically a cheaper, slightly cheaper version of the Sennheiser HD6 100 series headphones ie hd 600 or 6 hd 650s um, so they're a, they're very similar in that respect um, although they're just a little bit of a cheaper uh, headphone uh, you know they are uh, sort of commissioned these ones are sort of commissioned by drop which used to be mass drop and these are made in romania not germany um, but anyone who has sort of been in the audio world for um, at least the last 15 years or something is probably familiar with the uh, Sennheiser HD 600 or 600 series headphones um, because for the price they are they offer really a lot of bang for the buck. I know the Sennheiser 6, HD 600 series uh, have been headphones that I've owned in the past and subsequently sold as I upgraded but for the price that they're sold out they really do offer a lot of bang for buck and these particular drop versions are only $220 plus shipping and tax so um, you know pretty good deal there. They are open headphones, they're 300 ohm headphones, and they're quite comfortable when you put them on. You can see this is how they look on. And uh, you know, for the price, um, they really almost can't be beat. Uh, they do have quite a following. Some people actually think that the Sennheiser HD 6XX series of headphones um, are probably like the best headphones that you can get, you know, at any price actually. So they do have quite a following. Um, note that I have a third-party uh, balanced cable attached to these because when I attach these to the iFi setup, um, it's a 4.4 Pentacon. So I have a balanced cable set up with these, which we will take a look at in uh, a little bit more in depth um, in this video. But I did want to talk about the headphones a little bit first. Now the thing about these headphones is the frequency response isn't 100% perfect for a lot of people. Uh, the bass kind of drops off, and I'll try to post a graph up here on the screen. The bass kind of drops, drops off um, quite a bit. So what iFi has done is in their amplifier specifically made for these, they have a specific EQ setup that's built in for these, which really does make the headphones um, sound a lot better. And if you own these headphones, you probably do want to take a look at that. These headphones are very comfortable. They have a nice velour, uh, you know, ear pads to them. Um, and you know if you have these headphones you know about them already you know and for under three hundred dollars um, these are probably one of the best headphones you can get if you're looking for open headphones and they're not super easy to drive so they do scale up quite well you know to using different amplifiers and you know having more power so let's go over to my table and we'll take a look at this setup in more in depth all right folks so this is the setup here we have the iFi Signature Zen Can amp on the top, and then we have the optional DAC on the bottom. Now, it should be noted that the final version won't say Drop on it. Uh, it'll probably just say iFi, because these aren't actually manufactured by Drop like some of the products that they have. This is actually manufactured by iFi, but just distributed or sold on Drop. So that's uh, sort of something that you should be aware of. Uh, it is also a completely balanced setup, so the DAC on the bottom is balanced, and then I've got a 4.4 millimeter Pentacon uh, interconnect here that you could get on Amazon going from the balanced DAC to the balanced amp, and it's just a small, uh, you know, little interconnect, so you can kind of stack them together, but you could probably get, you know, a 4.4 millimeter balanced cable uh, longer if you want to have these devices, you know, separated. The DAC is also MQA, you know, compatible, although I don't personally like MQA myself. I'm just not a fan, so I don't tend to listen with MQA. But if you do listen with MQA and you use Tidal or whatever like that, it is MQA compatible as well. So that's, you know, a nice feature if that's something that you like. But in general, for the price of only 229, you know, the DAC does sound quite nice. Again, they're using Burr Brown chips, which is something that I really like and that um, then does tend to sound quite good. And of course, it's got the matching sort of stackable form factor as well, which, you know, is kind of nice. Both these units are currently on pre-order on drop right now, and the estimated ship date is November 11th, 2020. So you have, I don't know, just a couple of months here still um, before, you know, to pre-order before they actually ship. So I have a aftermarket cable going to the uh, drop Sennheiser HD6 
XX headphones, which is also a 4.4 millimeter balanced uh, cable as well. You can get that on Amazon as well. So I'll try to post links to these cables um, on Amazon. But in my opinion, if you have this setup, you probably do want to take full advantage of the balanced architecture of it and definitely run balanced in the, in the full setup rather than single-ended. Although you do have single-ended output here. You have a quarter inch uh, single-ended output jack here if you don't have a balanced headphone cable. However, you're going to see the most power out of the amplifier and probably the best quality by running it in balanced mode. And so speaking of power, the iFi Signature Can uh, headphone amplifier here can output a maximum of about I think 768 milliwatts so just under a watt and it is optimized for the 300 ohm uh, you know impedance of the Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones so that's when you're going to receive the maximum power when you're running these headphones when you run other headphones at different impedances you're going to have less output power but it can never go more than um, the 768 milliwatts, so just under a watt. And, and for this setup, that seems plenty. You know, you probably aren't going to need a lot more power than that. So let's go through some of the controls here, and then I'll also show you the back panels of these. As, as I mentioned, on the bottom is the DAC. Now, the DAC doesn't have much um, controls on it at all. This is a volume control, and you can set the DAC to digitally control volume if you want. However, if you're plugging this into an external amp, like what I have here, or powered speakers or something like that, I would recommend just having this be on line out mode and then this wouldn't do anything. But the digital volume control on the DAC uh, is there if you need it. And then on the back of the DAC, which is on the bottom here, you can kind of see what's uh, available to you in terms of uh, the you know different options. One thing I will note is um, the review unit that I received did not come with a power supply, which is a, um, a five, DC five volt power supply here. However, it's USB powered. So when, as soon as you plug in a USB like into your computer or whatever, it's going to power up the DAC for you. That's not the case with the amp though. The amp does require you know a uh, power supply. So here's the USB input going from right to left. Um, and then you also have your single-ended outputs right here. And then you have a switch here for variable or fixed volume, which I already discussed on the front. And then here is your balanced output, which is, of course, going into the balanced input on the top. So, so then while we're here talking about the back panel of the amplifier, of course, you've got the balanced input on the left. Then you've got a single-ended input, which is, I believe, a 3.5 millimeter single-ended input. And then you've got your uh, RCA inputs left and right. And then you also have a balanced output as well. So if you want to use this as like a preamp to like another amplifier or something like that, you can actually um, plug in a 4.4 millimeter Pentacon balanced. And then here is the five, uh, and here again is the five volt power supply. Uh, iFi does include their nice, uh, I think they call it iPower, uh, you know, switched mode, uh, you know, power supply uh, for the unit. Um, so that's quite nice. And then the front panel of the iFi Signature Can amplifier is right here. And you would turn it on by clicking it right there and it will then click on. And then you've got uh, your different inputs. So you can set your inputs right here, uh, one, two, and three. Three being the balance, then you have the uh, you know, different inputs on the back, um, whether it be single-ended or whatever. And then you have your gain switch right here. So it's got four levels of gain. And as you press that, you can kind of see the LED changes there. Um, so just depending on what headphones you're running or uh, how loud you like to play them, you know, you won't probably want to play around with the different gain settings. I actually found on the regular low gain, uh, it drove uh, the Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones perfectly fine, actually. But it really depends on your own listening environment and listening level. And then here is the volume control here. It's not a stepped volume control, it's just a smooth one. You know, it feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel plasticky or anything like that. Uh, so it feels, it's a good volume, you know, nice volume control. Single-ended quarter-inch output, balanced 4.4 uh, millimeter Pentacon output. And then this is the switch that enables you to get into the special Sennheiser HD6XX mode. And as you can see, that's on right now. So toggle, toggling that, uh, you can actually turn that off. It's basically like a four-way switch. So you have totally off HD6XX. XX EQ mode on, 
3D mode on, which is supposed to make um, your sound stage like more expansive um, and stuff like that. And then you can have both of those on. So it doesn't have bass boost or anything like that, but the HD6XX mode does provide um, some bass boost to the headphones. It really does optimize the sound of these headphones quite a bit um, and does improve them. You know, while they're comfortable headphones and they're really great for the price of under $300, you know, the drop ones are only $220, um, they can use definitely a bit of EQ and I've always thought that. So, so the fact that iFi has the built-in EQ here is really nice uh, and it makes it so you don't have to further EQ it digitally or anything like that and it just makes the sound a lot more involving, a lot warmer um, and a lot more listenable and just a lot more sort of right on sounding. Definitely bassier as well which is something that I like quite a bit. And iFi does it really well like um, you know, I believe this is a completely analog circuit here. iFi really does tend to do things like bass boost and be built in EQ really quite well um, and, you know, really nice sounding. So I've talked about the price of the headphones on drop, which is 220. So, so the price on the iFi Zencan Signature Amp, which I believe is a drop exclusive, is 249 and they're taking pre-orders right now, so it's not out yet. 249 for the amp, and then if you want to add the balance DAC below it, uh, that's an additional 229. And the DAC uses, uh, you know, I, the Burr Brown chips, which iFi uh, uses and which I like, which sounds pretty good. Um, you know, I don't tend to like uh, ESS Sabre based DACs. Um, they tend to sound a little bit kind of hollow and harsh to me. Um, so they did a really good job with this DAC. Um, it does sound really nice. Um, and when paired with this amp especially, I think it's just a, a really good match. You know, and for the price, I think this amp sounds really nice. Um, and also the build quality of it is really nice. It doesn't feel plastic or anything. It's, you know, it's all metal and it looks kind of space age, as you can see here. It fits really nicely on the desk. Um, so, you know, I just think for a nice compact setup, um, for somebody who wants something kind of small, um, this is just a nice setup. I mean, it sounds really great. And if you already own some of the Sennheiser HD 600 series headphones, if you're looking for a compact desktop uh, headphone setup, um, this is definitely something that you may want to consider. Certainly you can use it with other headphones as well, so you're not required to use them with these headphones. The amplifier, the headphone amplifier works perfectly well, um, you know, with any headphones. It, but it's just nice to have that HD 6 XX optimized setting if you own the uh, HD 600 series headphones. The other thing is the balanced 4.4 millimeter interconnect here is an aftermarket one that is available on Amazon. Drop is selling one for $89, however, so that is something you may want to consider as well, or just look on Amazon if you want one like this. And then this cable is also an aftermarket cable as well. I don't believe um, this is included uh, in the drop setup. This is a cable that I believe you can get on Amazon. It is a balanced 4.4 millimeter um, cable specifically for the HD you know, 600 series of headphones. Um, but I would kind of recommend investigating that because when you're using this amp, I do think you would probably ideally want to run it balanced. Although it sounds perfectly good single-ended, it's just taking full advantage of uh, you know, the balance architecture of it and the increased power, you probably do want to run it balanced. So this has been my look at the iFi Audio Zencan Signature 6XX amp and DAC. It's a drop exclusive and I think for the price of only $249 for the amp and $229 for the DAC and then $220 for the headphones. I think it's uh, quite a bargain for somebody who is on, you know, that type of budget who doesn't really want to spend, you know, over like a thousand dollars on a really nice headphone setup. This is really a, I don't want to say starter headphone setup, but it is a good setup to get you started with headphone li desktop listening. And it is, you know, a audiophile quality sound. So it's really kind of hard to find any faults with this setup. It's, you know, really quite versatile uh, and it does seem priced pretty well as well, in my opinion. So thanks for watching this video and as always for community and discussion, I'll see you in the comments field and go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed and be sure to click that bell even if you are subscribed, that way you can be notified for any new videos that uh, I publish. See you in my next video.